first of all i welcome dr ashutosh kulkarni sir president nema central dr us pande sir secretary nema central dr shantilal sharma sir treasurer nema central then i would like to welcome dr kamini dhiman ma'am president nema obgy central dr priyanka nakade ma'am secretary nema obgy central dr vishnu bawne sir treasurer nema obgy central dr rajesh utane sir convener nema obgy central i would also like to welcome dr suhas herlekar sir president nema obgy maharashtra dr manoj gaikwad sir secretary nema obgy maharashtra and dr ajaraj bal sir treasurer nema obgy maharashtra now so before we go any further let me give you few instruction that are common for for all participant please keep yourself muted during this session if your mic found unmuted or disturbing with the speaker's voice you will be either kept in waiting room or removed from the session to maintain decorum of the program if you have any questions put your questions in the chat box or raise your hand now i would like to brief everyone here about a our nima obgy agenda nima obgy that is national integrated medical association of cdc and gynecological society of india aims to impart education in supporting and protecting the character status and interests of the integrated medical profession in general practitioners and practitioners of sterog and prasuti tantra that is integrated obstetric and gynecology in india our object to is to spread knowledge and to foster education in integrated obstetrics and gynecology including human reproduction family welfare study and research in the field of contraception and other allied problems nima obgy is committed to promote services for betterment of health and community especially maternal and child health prevention of alignment and diseases their treatment with integrated approach of indian medicine with modern science so with this let us continue what we have come up today with you this is our webinar in this series so all all of you as you know today's topic is ayurvedic perspective of premature menopause premature menopause is one of the arising problem nowadays so we here we are here to explore what ayurveda has to say about premature menopause today we are very lucky to have here with us a very distinguished clinician dr mansi modi ma'am she will guide us through her novel thoughts regarding this topic hello so we'll welcome you dr mansi modi ma'am we are honored honored to have you with us it is my pleasure to introduce all of you dr mansi modi ma'am dr mansi ma'am yes please hello welcome. hello yes then in one gift to excel and a strong passion for gynec medicine field she pursued her bms for nadia gujarat and master degree in gynec surgery from ipgt and ra jamnagar gujarat india which are which is the more one of the best centers in your world she has worked as hod associate professor in the department of obstetrics and gynecology at the parul university of ayurveda vadodara currently she is serving as a medical officer in the gynec department at government ayurveda hospital vadodara she is ever willing to take up responsibilities and believe in discharging her duties with utmost dedication and care having great experience of ccrs cesis project on menopause syndrome from central government with the god grace she has solved more than 500 infertility cases throughout her career more than 3000 uttar basti procedure at ot and more than 5000 virechan karma as well as basti karma she will guide us to her novel thoughts regarding this topic now with due respect i would like uh, to call dr mansi modi ma'am to start session to start this session on this topic hello dr, dr. mansi ma'am yes yes 
thank you very uh, much welcome ma'am and uh, thank you so much that you are taking uh, this webinar series as a first candidate uh, from yes. uh, the youngsters once for whom we are starting this uh, series now and we are okay. privileged with your presence and absolutely this is like uh, we are going to have the best knowledge regarding this ayurvedic knowledge basically yeah. and uh, we hope to see a uh, lot of uh, other uh, activities in such uh, uh, nima obgy society also and uh, you are yeah. definitely will be uh, the part of it yes sure yeah can i start now yeah yeah yes yeah. Yes. yes thank you very much good evening everybody respected dignitaries my seniors and colleagues before starting this webinar today i would like to special thank to my mentor dr kamini diman madam who gave me such an amazing opportunity to present my views my shares my ideas indeed my positive results on this topic with my case studies in front of you there have been a pleasure in presenting this webinar of course to the august fraternities of doctors communities uh, it has been a very less interactions on this topic so let us dwell in details on this unique subject with the topic of the ayurvedic perspective on premature menopause why it is important current era though the ratio is very low but it is important in the uh, era of infertility nowadays due to change in lifestyle psychological and physiological symptoms of early menopause are much pronounced and require much importance in international medicinal world why we should not adopt hormone replacement therapy as it may create endometrial cancer loss of memory allergic reactions drug dependency impaired motor functions immobility like that what is this actually menopause is a natural phase in women's life typically occurring around the age of 51 but for some women this biological change begins earlier than expected a condition known as early menopause early menopause also known as premature menopause or premature ovarian insufficiency refers to the condition where a woman's ovaries stop functioning before the age of 45 women stops having menstrual cycles and can no longer conceive naturally which typically occurs between the ages of 45 to 55 with the average age being around 51 what is early menopause and premature menopause early menopause occurs before the age of 45 but after 40 while premature menopause happens before a woman reaches 40 years of age what is premature ovarian failure amenorrhea due to cessation of ovarian function before 40 first primary amenorrhea second secondary amenorrhea which includes amenorrhea for at least 3 months raised fsh and lh level and there is always the deficiency of estrogen this is the who classification of ovarian insufficiency you can see here it is divided in group 1 to group 7 from hypothalamic pituitary failure to amenorrheic woman with space occupying lesions what should be the clinical presentation of these kind of symptoms in primary premature ovarian failure there may be the signs or symptoms like primary amenorrhea no pubertal changes uh, of course there is absence of sexual maturation reduced growth velocity in more than 50 percentage of cases there is ovarian dysgenesis while in secondary pof there is secondary amenorrhea with hot flushes and sweating with diminished libido there may be the vaginal dryness and urinary symptoms and osteopenia as well osteoporosis with infertility permanent cessation of menses for one year and physiologically correlated from the loss of follicular function amenorrhea with sign of hypoestrogenemia and an elevated fsh and lh level various symptoms like hot flushes and other acute symptoms are associated with this condition 
it is the counterpart of menarche counterpart of puberty and is a transitional phase of 1 to 5 years during which the genital organs involute in response to cessation of gonadal activity causes of cessation of menstrual cycle the menstrual cycle ceases due to the disappearance of all primary oocytes which is an aging effect so regardless of whether menopause occurs early or prematurely the bodily changes remain the same both involve the cessation of menstruation decreased production of hormones such as estrogen and progesterone and the inability to conceive naturally let's have focus on causes of premature menopause first of all premature ovarian failure is a condition where the woman's ovary stop producing eggs in this case immature x might be produced this condition leads to premature menopause studies also show that women with epilepsy often have premature ovarian failure leading to early menopause aaj hi mere paas aisa same to same case aaya tha i will discuss later on ditto this case uh, this is the condition of early menopause with with epileptic case second cause is an autoimmune disease is a condition where the body treats its own tissues and organs as foreign bodies and attacks them What this disease that? could adversely affect the functioning of ovaries leading to premature menopause some lifestyle disorders like diabetes chronic backache obesity infertility cardiovascular diseases and anxiety lead to the premature menopause of course in obesity Uh, there is a bad for overall health a healthy bmi with optimum weight actually supports estrogen production as estrogen is stored in fat cells the another important cause is chromosomal defects particular with triosomy 13 and triosomy 18 of course we should not forget turner syndrome is characterized by missing or incomplete sex chromosomes which also contributes to the immature or unhealthy development of x another factors which affects this condition that is genetical factor affect chemotherapy and radiation therapy effects as well hysterectomy and oophorectomy effects these are the early signs we should uh, also not you know, while patient uh, coming to our opd that is the changes in menstrual cycle either irregular or stopped hot flushes particular night sweats again night sweats vaginal dryness decreased estrogen levels can lead to this condition mood swings of course irritability anxiety and depression is there difficulty in sleeping and decreased libido uh, sexual drive is another sign of early menopause so early menopause and its implications are ovaries do not produce eggs estrogen levels fall no periods and no pregnancy so these are the vasomotor symptoms hot flushes mood changes depression sleep disturbances and fatigue i am also seeing all these condition in 28 year old my patient which i will discuss later on this whole vasomotor symptoms i have found in all my patients in early menopausal conditions of course urogenital symptoms with dryness of vagina dysuria urinary leak urinary frequency or sexually problems musculoskeletal problems like sarcopenia weakness of muscle joint pains osteoarthritis as well as porosis while menstrual irregularities unintended pregnancies palpitations low back low back ache dryness of skin hair loss eye problems gametary problems are also there this is important the role of stress in triggering early menopause that is the first symptom and my treatment will started on this base only stress stress both physical as well emotional has been observed to play an important role in the onset of early menopause chronic stress can disturbance the delicate balance of hormones in the body including those responsible for reproductive functions health impacts and risk 
peak of early menopause estrogen plays a crucial role in many bodily functions it protects against heart disease supports bone health and helps in maintaining skin elasticity early depletion of estrogen can increase the risk of certain health issues such as heart disease osteoporosis and certain types of cancers early menopause can also impact mental health contributing to feelings of depression anxiety and lower self esteem due to the premature onset of menopausal symptoms so health risk of early menopause are fertility issues bone health cardiovascular health and mental health weight gain and other health issues associated with early menopause weight gain is common during menopause and early menopause is no exception hormonal changes can alter the way your body distributes fat leading to weight gain particularly around the abdomen furthermore with this women experiencing early menopause might also face an increased risk of other health issues by during with weight gain like vaginal dryness urinary problems and sexual dysfunctions as well as sleep, sleep disturbances due to the frictions of uh, thighs due to the over accumulation of fat see these are the long term problems uh, like heart disease osteoporosis alzheimer's disease arthritis diabetes hypertension hearing and vision related problems this is more prone we have discussed previously in this slide you can see here in our left side that is normal ovary function in our right side that is premature ovarian insufficiency ovary so what nor normal ovary do huh? in normal ovary function is there may be the development of primordial follicles which convert to yes. primary follicles ha sangaycha tila hello which further convert to preantral follicle which further further convert to small enteral follicles and finally the stage reaches to the pre ovulatory phase and ovulation takes place and corpus luteum development there may be but in the cases of poi premature ovarian insufficiency there may be the stop of these all function is due to the atresia of these conditions and results in the number of primordial follicles are exhausted and ovary totally stop functioning so basically they, these are there are the impairments in two roots in brain in hypothalamus and in uterus in ovaries in hypothalamus there may be the desynchronized gonadotropin hormone secretions which may impair the fsh and lh level increases and lead to the loss of menstrual cycle while in ovary decreased in ovarian follicle mass and function and estradiol fluctuations and decline in antimullerian hormone and inhibin b can lead to the loss of menstrual cycle so what is the diagnosis and initial evaluation of primary ovarian insufficiency menstrual irregularity for at least three consecutive months with fsh lh and estrogen levels can be carried out at least for one month apart there may be the two random test at least one month apart with the level of prolactin and thyroid function test also and if it is confirmed then we should go for other karyotypes like immunological test as well pelvic sonography what we have found in investigations of course there is rise in fsh and lh level uh in maximum cases it is around 40 or just near to 40 estrogen uh, estradiol level is less than 20 picogram per ml in karyotyping others there may be impairment thyroid function test may be uh, disturbed calcium level uh, goes down blood sugar may also fluctuate in usc there may be the small ovaries with no growing follicles and sometimes ovarian cyst is also shown this is important these four steps i have put this slides particular why it is important because we have to reach to the particular diagnosis kaun sa part damage endometrium damage hai to uske according hum ayurvedic treatment karenge ya fir hypothalamus damage hai pituitary work nahi kar 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 raha hai ye carried out karna zaruri hai because to choose the line of treatment 
first of all progesterone challenging test after giving progesterone of 21 days if bleeding occurs then it can lead to the intact hpo axis as well adequate estrogen levels and responsive endometrium but if bleeding does not occur it can lead to the lack of progesterone receptors and diseased endometrium step number 2 combine test estrogen plus progesterone if bleeding occurs after giving that then it represents that responsive endometrium with inadequate estrogen if bleeding does not occur it represents at endometrial lesion and hsc should be carried out in that case number 3 serum gonadotrophin estimation if serum fsh is greater than 40 it represents at premature ovarian failure and resistant ovarian syndrome if fsh is less than 40 it indicates as primary pituitary dysfunction as well secondary pituitary dysfunction step number 4 gnrh dynamic test gnrh administration after gnrh administration if rise in pituitary gonadotrophins it represents at hypothalamic dysfunction but if there is no rise in pituitary gonadotrophins that it may indicates the primary pituitary disorder so in modern what is the management we all know that they have only hormone replacement therapies conjugated equine estrogens serum estrogen receptor modulators antidepressants gabapentin blood pressure medicines etc enzymes and sedatives particular they are using hormone replacement therapy to minimize the post menopausal health hazards steroids to prove autoimmune diseases and in infertility cases there is the one and only options are ui or ivf what to do and what not to do as a part of treatment we should focus what to do observance of personal dietary seasonal social and psycho spiritual conduct good food and adequate exercises adequate rest timely containment of health issues what not to do keep away from stressful indulgences erratic good habits sorry food habits heavy physical work addictions and social insecurity etc hello i request everybody to mute your mic now coming to our portion that is ayurvedic review what ayurveda says regarding this particular subject please mute your mic so in ayurveda acharya shrishrut has quoted in sharishtan chapter 3 that tad prashat dvadashat kale vartmanam ashruk punah jara pakva sharirana yati pancha shatakshayam factors for rajani vruti either premature or normal that is kal swabhav vayu karma dhatu kshay and abhigatas types of rajani vruti acharya shrishrut has further said that जिसको हम प्री मेचोर और अर्ली मेनोपोस बोलते हैं स्वाभाविक को बोलते हैं नॉर्मल मेनोपोस जो नॉर्मल एज में होता है तो रजोनी वृत्ति ऑल्सो कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप कालज एंड अकालज Kalash Rajoni Vruti takes place probable age around for 50 years, while a Kalash either before or after. Symptoms are very acute, and medical attention is required to avoid its hazardous effects. So, early menopause in Ayurveda. According to Ayurveda, menopause is the stage of transition from Pitta dominated phase of life to the Vata dominated phase. That's why during the menopausal years. one naturally becomes prone to health symptoms related to vata imbalance and pitta imbalance such severe changes in her hormone levels and dosha balance poorly affect her metabolism as well that's why some women may experience cough imbalance symptoms such as excess weight gain depression and high cholesterol lakshana sofra jo nivruti 
these are the doshad lakshanas in our textbooks vatas pitta jan kafad lakshanas are there particular in vatas lakshanas जो हमें पेशेंट्स को देखने को मिलते हैं वो है शीरहशुल आधमान आटोप और अनिद्रा इन पित्तद लक्षण वी हैव फाउंड उष्ण अनुभूति योनि दाह ग्लानी स्वेद अधिक्य इन कफद लक्षण देर इज रुद्र ध्रुवत्व अन अंग मर्द दीज आर द धातु शायद लक्षण वी ऑल नो दैट दिस इज मानसिक लक्षण क्रोध शोक भय द्वेश स्मृति हाश Vishad, chinta, etc. This is important. How we can correlate the vata symptoms to modern symptomatology? So vata symptoms represents as precordial pain, hypertension, restlessness, backache, and fear, depression. While pitta symptoms represents as hot flushes, sweating, irritability, anger, night sweats, pruritus vulva, and bleeding disorders. while kapha symptoms represents as obesity sleepiness oedema in joints lack of motivation feeling heaviness and lethargic conditions so what should be the probable samprapti of rajonivruti how we can break this samprapti jab hum samprapti ko acche se learn karenge tab hum aage ja ke usko break down kar payenge right so bhav prakash has mentioned That vardhakya vardhaman e na vayu nam ras shoshanat na tatha dhatu vrutishya tatstrat anilam jayeta. This dominant vata dosh will have effect all over the female body, including all anatomical as well as physiological factors by virtue of its character. It is laguta and rukta. So considering these all points, the probable samprapti can be drawn under two main headings: kalat samprapti and akalat samprapti. In here we can show that kalat samprapti may takes place as biological stimulation due to that it affects kala vayu swabhav and jara vasta so that it can lead to dhatu kshaya vasta so that vata and pitta increases and kapha diminish so rasa rakta kshaya takes place upadhatu kshaya takes place and due to that artha vah srota sang happens. Which can lead to rajoni vruti. What happens in kal or kalaj rajoni vruti? Due to a kalaj rajoni vruti, karma affects and directly lead to the dhatu kshaya vasta, and further samprapti remains same as per shown in the slide. While in abhikat adi uh, rajoni vruti, jo, uh, jo traumatic factors hote, wo directly lead to the artha vahas rotas sang, and it can lead to rajoni vruti. संप्राप्ति घटक हम जानते ही ले, लेकिन अपन वायु को ट्रीट करना इधर विद पीत एंड कफ दोष सो वॉट शुड बी द आयुर्वेदिक मैनेजमेंट कालश या परिणाम है ना जरा मृत्यु निमित्त जा रोगा स्वाभाविका दृष्टा स्वभाव निश प्रतिक्रिया विच हेज बीन मेन्शन बाय आचार्य चरक इन चार्जिस्थान चैप्टर वन जो भी कालज है वो स्वाभाविक है उसका ट्रीटमेंट नहीं है लेकिन जो अकालज है उसका ट्रीटमेंट है और वो क्या है जो मैंने नीचे दिखाया है वन एंड ओनली दैट इज रसायन रसायन तंत्र नाम वयस्थापनम आयुर्मेधा बल करम रोगापहरणम समर्थम च साथ में दिनचर्या प्रॉपर ऋतुचर्या योगा प्राणायाम एज वेल एज पंचकर्म थेरापी सो द Management and prevention of early menopause in Ayurveda includes proper ahar, food, proper vihar in the sense of lifestyle, proper aushadi medications as well as karma treatment. Ayurvedic treatment and natural remedies focus on strengthening and rejuvenating the reproductive system. So, to avoid early aging, that is main the three principles. First one is to give rasan and vajika therapy. second one is nidan parivarjan third one is rehabilitation rasan action at the level of radiation damage as a antioxidant dunch we have the drugs like ashwagandha amalki pipli to dna repair we have excellent drug like shatavari and sariva for cellular viability that is ashwagandha to immunomodulators that are 
गुडुची आमल की एक्सेट्रा ऑफकोर्स टू वर्ड अब रसायन इफेक्ट वी नो वेरी वेल लाभो पायो हिशस्ता नाम रसा दिनम रसायनम इम्प्रूव न्यूट्रिशन डायजेशन मेटाबोलिज्म एंड माइक्रो सर्क्युलेशन लीड्स टू लॉन्जिविटी इंटेलिजेंस फ्लेशीनेस एंड अफेक्टिवनेस so after seeing all these factors these are the main principal drugs which i am using in my patients that is ashwagandha shatavari turmeric and amla why ashwagandha because it is a powerful adaptogen it helps the body to manage stress its potential benefits in promoting sound sleep and maintaining hormonal balance while shatavari is known as queen of herbs as it also help to balance the female hormones thus easing menopausal symptoms like hot flushes and mood swings what turmeric is doing turmeric act, uh, having the active compound curcumin is known for its anti inflammatory properties so it is best for joint pains and inflammation and amla as we all know that it is the best antioxidant and indian grocery it can also help in maintaining hormonal balance and boosting overall vitality this is the drug ashokarist why it is important how it helps it contains several herbs like first ashok sunthi haritaki vasa and chandan which are rudya and balya can lead to direct rasayan karma and samprapti vigatan happens and rajo nivruti lakshana of shamanam is there while haritaki amalki and utpal directly work as rasayan karma while musta ajaji sunthi and haritaki are deepen and pachan so it does agni pradipti and prashast dhatu nirman takes place so it can lead to dhatu pushti and further samprapti vigatan happens while utpal haritaki and bibitaki are medhya manas tarpan and indriya tarpan so chinta and shock is uh, diminished and sleep disturbance is also go away and thus it helps in breakdown of the samprapti of rajoni vruti these are the doshik effect of ashokari in short it is vat pitan kapha shamak matlab tridoshamak further most jam is ashwagandha why it is important in this condition because it is having the property of balya vayasthapan manas tarpan as well vajikaran due to balya and vayasthapan properties it is doing rasayan karma dhatu pushti and breakdown of samprapti due to manas tarpan because of alcohol alkaloids and glucosides inside it supports sound sleep and anti stress effect aapke pas koi bhi patient aata ho jisko bhi neend nahi aati hai ya hormone imbalance hai ya stress hai ya anxiety hai sirf pure ashwagandha extract de do ya ashwagandha tablet pure usko definitely result milega 100% now the last portion is vajikaran effect it nourishes the reproductive system improve the sexual dysfunction in short ashwagandha improve the degenerative changes by effect on chondroplasts in cartilage hemopoietic effect by cyclophosphamide and reduces leukopenia another important drug that is pravalpishti why it is important better and early result by using herbal calcium along with herbal phytoestrogen and as a part of herbal calcium pravalpishti is used in the body where pitta is having ushnata amlata and likewise properties praval is also showing a soothing or cooling effect so what should be our ayurvedic diet for early menopause of course diet includes phytoestrogen and vata vata har diet in short increase the intake of warm foods and drinks all these are balancing for vata dosha maintain regular meals and follow scheduled timings avoid excess salt chilies spices reduce the use of caffeine outsider foods sugars 
stop consuming junk foods avoid untimely meals multiple meals late night foods and snacks and stop the consumption of processed foods as well packaged foods we should not forget this calcium which is helping to regulate hormones either it is early or uh, regular menopause and uh, these are the calcium rich foods we all know that ha uh, we should this is important magnesium magnesium rich foods are whole grains leafy greens dairy products nuts seaweed and bananas it is also the best which regulates the hypothalamus pituitary ovarian axis we should also maintain b12 and vitamin d deficiency why uh, sufficiency vitamin d is an essential nutrient that supports your bones hormone balance and heart health with aging vitamin d production in the body goes down that's why majority of the menopausal women struggle with vitamin d deficiency jaise fsh and lh rise hota hai estrogen jaise hi badna uh, uh, jo normal level hota hai usse kam hota ja raha hai body ke andar उसके साथ साथ कैल्शियम डेफिशिएंट होता है जैसे कैल्शियम लॉस होता है हेलो यस जैसे कैल्शियम बॉडी में लॉस होता है इट कैन डिरेक्टली अफेक्ट टू विटामिन डी जल्दी से बॉडी से बोन से एब्जॉर्ब होता है और बॉडी एकदम लिखा लिथार्जिक और बॉडी एक होने लगता है ऑफ कोर्स टेक इन हेल्थी फैट्स healthy foods promote heart health strong immunity and brain power several studies indicate that omega 3 foods can reduce physiological distress anxiety and mood swings these are the phytoestrogen rich foods we can also include in our diet like uh, apples cashews dry fruits garlic uh, cranberries and strawberries etc phytoestrogens will help to balance the subsiding estrogen levels thus they will support hormone balance and prevent low estrogen levels so what how should be the lifestyle surviving and thriving through early menopause requires a combination of good healthcare a supportive network and proactive management of well being we can advise the patient to be stay hydrated forever to quit smoking to cool down with mind with cool relaxation and to take proper sleep this is the important this i am calling the best ornament in our ayurveda to cure first of all any degenerative changes any autoimmune conditions any hormonal conditions panch karma management of this condition panch karma first let's focus in virachan as we know that snehan and swedan are the part of virachan snehan are effective in vata prakop snehan dravyas are sukshma sara snigdha mrudu guru properties so it eliminates vata dosha while swedan dravya possesses properties which are opposite to the vata dosha it open the strothus and regulate the blood circulation and virachan drugs are kostagni drugs which quickly absorb through the micro channels and results in vishyandan of sang dosh vichandan breakdown of the dosh and mal by its anupravan bhavat and it has adobhaga prabhavit remove dosha or maintain samvat avastha of dosha now coming to basti there are the three types of basti asthapan basti yog basti in that asthapan basti anuvasan basti and uttar basti the ovarian cycle is regulated through the feedback of hormones on the neural tissue of cns the regulation of ovarian function occurs through hypothalamus pituitary ovarian axis by autocrine paracrine and endocrine mechanisms h hypothalamus and pituitary are under control of cns while ovary is under control of parasympathetic nervous system intestine is richly supplied with nerves 
Hence, the theory of ENS emerges out. ENS to CNS. We all know that enteric nervous system is called as second brain of our body. Why? Because it is having the 500 million neurons where we are giving busty and it gets, gets absorbed and stimulate further CNS and uh, neurotransmitters and parasympathetic activities. Basti stimulate the ENS, generates the stimulatory signals for CNS, causes uh, stimulation of hypothalamus for GNRH and the pituitary for FSH and LH with the help of neurotransmitters. Basti given through rectum will stimulate this parasympathetic nervous supply also, which in turn helps for the release of ovum from the follicle in the ovary. How? What is the role of endogenous opioids? It has a relation with Anuvas and Basti. These are a group of peptides which play an important role in ovarian cycle through the inhibitory effect of GnRH secretion. Other pituitary hormones are also modulated by opioids. Endorphin stands for endogenous morphine. Beta endorphin has been best known of the opioid related to the reproductive system regulating variety of pituitary hormones, including gonadotrophins. So beta endorphin has a role in the regulation of the normal ovarian cycle. Anuvasan basti, through rectum, fast absorption reaches in the systemic circulation, which stimulates the GIT and enteric nervous system, which stimulates endogenous opioids and Influence of GnRH release takes place, which regulates the HPO axis and it regulates the ovarian cycle as well. Is tarah se anuvasan basti or this opioids, endogenous opioids ka bhi ek unique connection hai particular uh, to release the ovum, to rupture the ovum. Now coming to the uttar basti, we all know that Uttar intravaginal, intrauterine, uttar basti helps in removing the infections. Intrauterine uttar basti may also facilitate the absorption of drug as posterior fornix has a very rich blood supply. Intracervical uttar basti with oil based drug helps to remove the cervical stenosis and to restore the function of cervix, is con uh, conception and helps to treat dysmenorrhea causes caused by. This stenosis. Yes, that is important. Intracervical uttar basti with bruhan drugs like ghee and tel may stimulate the secretion of cervical mucus, leading to a send of sperms in the uterine cavity. Intrauterine uttar basti with grief based snehan and brihan drugs helps in rejuvenation of endometrium, especially where apart from regular ovulation poor endometrium is causing infertility or scanty menstruation. In cases of menorrhagia due to hyperplastic endometrium, intrauterine uttar basti with lekhan dravyas may help. For tubal factor also, a high intrauterine uttar basti with lekhan dravyas acts. We should not forget that nasya. Hypothalamus and anterior pituitary plays major role in the regulation of genital organ hormones. Both have their anatomical position in hand. Hypo hypothalamus is also responsible for the vasomotor changes in the body, which is functional area of nausea. And takradhara. It is having cooling properties and induces the same effect on the body and mind. It reduces stress improves mental health, improves skin and hair quality. It is believed to have a balancing effect on the deepest recess of our brain, stimulating the endocrine system, the pituitary and pineal gland, enhance pleasure neurotransmitters. It is also said to enhance blood circulation. So in Ayurvedic text, no direct reference is available for early menopause or premature ovarian failure. But Acharya Shushrut has mentioned Sarvanga Dhatu Kshaya Rajoni Vruti Esh in concept of Tri Shukra Dhatu. Ovarian hormones can be correlated with Antaha Shukra. 
raja nirman is done by ras dhatu and all the dhatu portion occurs in uttara uttar karma as this disease is vata predominant which is shown by hot flushes night sweats insomnia vaginal dryness etc so treatment should be planned to elimination of vata dosha or nourishes ras dhatu and also normalize pitta virachan and basti is proved of its highly beneficial effect nasya and takradhara is also advised to improve uh, psychological as uh, changes as well hair and skin textures panchakarma procedure snehan swedan virachan niru basti uttar basti nasya and takradhara along with oral ayurvedic medications are effective and safe treatment modality for the elevation of symptoms related to premature ovarian conditions in women ye mera case study hai ye khud modern allopathic hospitals mein sister hai aur wo kareeb 1.5 saal se meri patient hai abhi bhi uska treatment chalu hai patient is gone under my treatment she is having sem totally secondary amenorrhea and uh, uh, the same early menopausal conditions and i have given this is her ipd case paper i have admitted this patient i have given uh, her virachan treatment uh, repeatedly lekhan basti for 3 to 4 times and uttar basti for minimum at least 2 to 3 times and you can see here the result of that this is the february 2023 result Uh, FSH was 47 and LH was 12. While in now May month, FSH FSH is reduced. You can see here 29 and LH is 12. See, this is 47, which is reduced to 29, and uh, this is 12, which remains same. 12. It is normal actually. Her prolactin level is also normal. This is my miracle. Uh, result in uh, this patient isko maine panch karma karne ke baad mein maine rasayan therapy pe chalu rakha hai abhi jaise maine diya hai vat anuloman treatment and rasayan treatment uske andar maine dala hai ashwagandha churn pravala pishti jaise ki maine pehle slides mein dikhaya hai uske sath mein shatavari and shatapushpa nag kesar ka combination mein deti hu with honey artav janak hai wo sath mein maine चंद्र प्रभावटी भी ऐड किया है मैं ऑल्टरनेट रखती हूँ श्री रसायन वटी और चंद्र प्रभावटी दशमूल काढ़ा में देख के रखती हूँ वात अनुलोमन करने के लिए मैं परगेटिव दिया है मैंने पेशेंट को लाइक स्त्री स्वादिष्ट विरचन चूर्ण एंड त्रिफला चूर्ण का कॉम्बिनेशन लाइक दैट दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ माइंड एंड दिस इज माई सेकेंड पेशेंट ये जो पेशेंट है हाँ मैं एक चीज बोलना रह गया इसमें कि ये अभी रिपोर्ट है मेरे पास फेब्रुआरी का जब पेशेंट मेरे पास फर्स्ट टाइम आया था बिफोर सिक्स मंथ तब वो हंड्रेड के ऊपर था उसका जो एफ एस एफ था वो मोर देन वन थर्टी था और एल एच था वो भी मोर देन अराउंड नाइनटी या एटी था वो वो रिपोर्ट अनफॉर्चुनेटली मेरे पास नहीं है आई स्टूडेंट अटैच हियर बट आई हैव शोन इयर फ्रॉम फेब्रुआरी टू मे मंथ रिपोर्ट and uh, uh, this is the another patient janki patel and uh, she is undergoing my treatment and uh, this is her level fsh is 105 and lh is 50 and uh, this is her case paper her treatment is going on actually right now i have uh, planned the same uh, as patient is not fit for vaban karma so i have started with virachan karma with repeatedly lekhan bastis and uttar bastis and uh, I am uh, waiting for positive results. जैसे ही होता है मैं आप सबके साथ शेयर करूंगी दीज टू रिजल्ट आई हैव एंड ऑफकोर्स आई हैव गॉट मेजिकल रिजल्ट इन दीज कंडीशन सो आई हैव शेयर विथ यू थैंक यू इट ब्रिंग्स एंड टू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफकोर्स थैंक यू सो मच नाम फॉर दिस वंडरफुल सेशन यूर एक्सपीरियंसेस योर पर्स्पेक्टिव अबाउट मेनोपॉज ड्रग्स doshas panchakarma all these are very informative for us ma'am from this yes. session we have gained a better and different point of view ma'am ayurveda has mm. great scope
Hello. From participants. Ma'am, kindly uh, explain the treatment part again. ट्रीटमेंट पार्क ट्रीटमेंट में कैसा है शोधन से हम शुरू करते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हॉर्मोन्स को स्टार्टिंग ट्रीटमेंट विथ तक्रधारा आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग तक्रधारा आई विल स्टार्ट टू शोधन फ्रॉम एज अ पार्ट ऑफ विरेचन कर्मा आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग विरेचन कर्मा देर मे बी देशन ऑफ लेखन बस्ती इन लेखन बस्ती आपको मैं बता रही हूँ कि आई एम यूजिंग गौ मूत्र वाला लेखन बस्ती जिसमें त्रिफलाक वात में डालती हूँ स्पेशली और उसके बाद में मैं उत्तर बस्ती यूज करती हूँ उत्तर बस्ती के अंदर मैं पर्टिकुलर फलग्री तो पहले दो साइकिल में यूज करती हूँ उसके बाद में मैं डिरेक्टली जाती हूँ शत पुष्पा ऑयल मेरा शत पुष्पा पे ज्यादा वर्ग है अभी रिसेंटली मैंने एक आठ ईयर पुराना पीसी किया है Thank you, ma'am. Uh, what kind treatment should advise patient at postmenopausal phase having same symptoms? Hello. Hi. Uh, yes. Ma'am, the next next question is. Hmm. Sorry. What kind of treatment should advise to patient Hello? at postmenopausal phase having same symptoms? In postmenopausal phase. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Treatment will be same. Treatment okay. will be same. मैं तक्रधारा से ही शुरू करती हूँ इफ यू कैन नॉट डू तक्रधारा देन डू सिंपल वॉम वॉटर शीरोधारा एंड फोकस ऑन बस्ती इफ पेशेंट इज इन पोस्ट मॉडल पोस्ट मेनोपोजल कंडीशन एंड शी इज इन ऑल डेस देन डिरेक्टली यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ बस्ती थेरापी पर्टिकुलर अनुवासन बस्ती इफ शी इज नॉट एबल टू कैच आस्थापन बस्ती एक्सेट्रा देन डू अनुवासन बस्ती I am using Dhanvantaram oil in 90 ml of doses in particular postmenopausal conditions to uh, cure the postmenopausal osteoporosis conditions because these type of patients are having the complaints of joint pains and calcium loss, palpitations, perspiration, etc. And it is giving fantastic results to me. Of course, in cases of cystitis and uh, frequent menstruation, in that condition mm -hmm. also it is giving best. so i am uh, the i'm uh, line of treatment should be anuvasan basti oiling body ke andar oiling karna hai hame yes ma'am thank you ma'am the next question is why lekhan basti is used in this condition hello Ma'am, can you hear me? Hello. Ma'am, why lekhan basti is used in this condition? Our next question is. Hmm. Why lekhan basti is used? मैंने बोला. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Lekhan basti me arta u jannan. जो हार्मोन एच एक्सिस को बैलेंस करने के लिए मैं यूज करती हूँ क्योंकि जो स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट होता है जिससे हम ट्रेन को चलाने के लिए एंजिन के बिना ट्रेन के डब्बे नहीं हिलेंगे इन वेरी शॉर्ट टर्म आई एम आई जस्ट वांट टू एक्सप्लेन इन दैट लाइक दैट जैसे ही उसको एक बार जनरेट होता है जैसे एंजिन बॉडी के अंदर वो गोमूत्र के बिना नहीं होगा शरीर में कुछ भी आप कर लो कितना भी आप रजय प्रवर्तन बटी दे दो कन्या लोहा दी बटी दे दो या फिर कोई भी बात शामक ड्रग दे दो लेकिन ये गौमूत्र वाला जो भी लेखन बस्ती है यदि होएगा तो इससे ही होएगा दैट इज फॉर श्योर 
और डेट्स वाई आई एम गिविंग स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट लेखन बस्ती ऐसा भी नहीं की माइल्ड पेशेंट को मिनिमम फोर टू फाइव टाइम्स बस्ती देने के बाद में मोशन भी होना चाहिए ओके थैंक यू मैम या अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम डॉक्टर मंजूषा करते मैम वी सी रिड्यूस ब्लड फ्लो इन यंग वुमेन कैन इट बी एन अर्ली मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ प्रोबेबल अर्ली मैनोपोज व्हाट व्हाट इज द बेस्ट वे टू ट्रीट सच हाइपोमेनोरिया पार्डन भी मैं समझी नहीं हाइपोमेनोरिया मेंस्ट्रुअल इरेगुलरिटीज मैम क्वेश्चन इज कि जनरली इन यंग वुमेन वी आर सीइंग द रिड्यूस ब्लड फ्लो so hmm. can it be an early manifestation or probably early menopause ha ah, yes okay and what uh, what are the best way to treat such hypomenorrhea uh, hypomenorrhea cases chandra prabhavati shatavri churna give estrogens phytoestrogens jaise maine bataya slides mein aa gaye dashamula kashai chitra kadivati of course उसको हमें आर्तव जनक दवाई नहीं देनी है बट एज के रिगार्डिंग जो भी हॉर्मोन होने चाहिए उसको हमें कंटिन्यू करते हैं तो उसके अंदर चंद्र प्रभावती देते हैं और शताब्दी चूर्णा दिस टू आर द मेन लाइन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन सच टाइप ऑफ कैसेस पेरी मेनोपोजल एज जिसको बोलते हैं यस मैम ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम अदर क्वेश्चन इज अशोक स्पेसिफिकली अशोक चूर्ण और अशोक एनी प्रिपरेशन इन विच टाइप ऑफ केसेस मतलब अशोक इज ऑलरेडी सेट टू बी एमेनो गो एंड वाइस एवर था इट इज वर्किंग एज अ संभन ऑल्सो तो इन विच केसेस वी शुड यूज अशोक पर्टिकुलरली अशोक मैंने बोला ना रसायन करने के लिए ऐसा अशोक का रोल ऐसा नहीं है कि वो कसाई ही करेगा वो संभन ही करेगा but as a rasayan we can use but not like uh, here i am using ashok arish not ashok with honey or tandoor or to stop any shwet pradhar or jaise ayurved ne bola hai na anupan ka important role hai is tarah yes. se main use karti hu ashok arish jo hamare volumes mein diye gaye hai api mein uske according mein uh, wo nagarjuna ya sandu ka ashok arish use karti hu jaise patients ko mere mere ko lage zyada anxiety mein hai zyada stress mein hai तो उसको मैं देख के रखती हूँ कि उसको अच्छे से नींद भी आ जाए और इष्ट है बाकी अशोक लोद्र पुष्यानुपला कॉम्बिनेशन नहीं देना है इसमें कि वो डायरेक्टली तंडुलोदक के साथ देने से वो संबंध कर दे ब्लीडिंग डिसऑर्डर्स में जैसे हम इंडिकेट करते हैं ऐसा नहीं है इसमें सो आई एम यूजिंग अशोक आरिस्ट इन शॉर्ट ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम यस Ma'am, one more question is: Do you consider Uttar Basti as a always intrauterine? Of course, Uttar Basti is born in only in intrauterine conditions. I am not uh, labeled Uttar Basti in intravaginal. वो slide में रखा था, वो सिर्फ explanation के लिए मैंने रखा था. लेकिन I am doing in OT with all autoclave and sterile conditions. एंड पेशेंट को मैं इंट्रा यूटेराइन ही करती हूँ और दूसरा चीज एक इम्पोर्टेंट इसके साथ में मैं बताती हूँ कि ऐसे पेशेंट होते जिसमें प्राइमरी और सॉरी सेकेंडरी एमेनोरिया वाले होते तो उसके अंदर जो सर्वाइकल ओस होता है ना वो भी ऑब्स्ट्रक हो जाता है स्टेनोस्ट हो जाता है तो उसमें डायलेट करना पड़ता है बहुत मेहनत करनी पड़ती है कि वो डायलेटर से पहले हम ओस को डायलेट करते हैं फिर जाके उत्तर बस्ती होता है और फिर उसका रिजल्ट मिलता है इंट्राविजाइनल बस्ती से इसका कोई लेना देना नहीं है ओके मैम एंड हाउ यस एमएल एक्चुअली द कैपेसिटी ऑफ यूट्रस इज टू एम एल तो इट एब्सॉर्ब एज मच टू एम एल जितना होता है बाकी का वो बाहर निकलता है लेकिन वी आर गिविंग फाइव एम एल और मैंने पहले भी बताया कि फर्स्ट एंजिन को शुरू करने के लिए मैं फलग्री तो देती हूँ और जैसे ही उसका मासिक एक बार आ गया उसके बाद में मैं शत पुष्पा तेल में उसको कन्वर्ट कर देती हूँ पूरा मतलब मैं बस्ती में भी शत पुष्पा दी ऑयल यूज करती हूँ और उत्तर बस्ती में भी फाइव फाइव एम एल शत पुष्पा दी ऑयल में डालती हूँ इस तरह से रहता है तो इससे क्या होता है कि दो साइकिल के बीच का जो भी समय है वो भी कम होगा और उसका साइकिल भी रेगुलेट होगा और ये मैं बात कर रही हूँ विदाउट मॉडर्न और एलोपैथिक सपोर्ट ओनली विथ आयुर्वेदा 
yes ma'am definitely yeah. uh, one more question is ma'am what are the grutta or a tailor that can be used as a snake pana for the cases of mm-hmm. pof premature ovarian failure particularly yeah. panchakarma yes ma'am chatavri grutta of course okay ma'am chatavri grutta of course you can use falagrit if uh, there is infertility Uh, issue also there, but uh, I am using only Shatavri Grit. So, if patient, ah, ah, very, ah, our has psychological disturbance. के साथ आता है, उनको हम ऐसे पंचगव्य ग्रीत भी दे सकते हैं, लेकिन वो सब वो ले ही नहीं पाएंगे. So, वो सब condition ध्यान में रखके, yes, I am using either Shatavri Grit or simple गाय का घी. बस, दो ही मैं use करती हूँ. हम्म. One more question is: Have you tried other form of medicines than sneha? I think for Uttar Pradesh, she she is asking for me. Pardon me, I am not clear. Ma'am, you have told about uh, that you are using first palagruth and then Shatushpa yes. Tela for Uttar Pradesh. She yes. is asking that: Have you tried other form of medicines that uh, than sneha in Uttar Pradesh? Yes, ma'am. Like quat हाँ, or of course. नहीं 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 क्वाथ नहीं देते हैं तेल में हमने नारायण तेल यूज किया है पहले लेकिन उसका एंडोमेट्रियम हम उत्तर बस से क्यों करते हैं टू इंक्रीज एंडोमेट्रियल थिकनेस राइट और वो फलग्रीत तो बेस्ट रिजल्ट देता है एक बार फलग्रीत से ईटी हम आ जाए ईटी मेंटेन हो जाए अप टू सेवन टू एट जो हमें चाहिए एक्चुअली फर्टिलिटी के लिए फर्टाइल वुमन के लिए उसके बाद में फिर हम उसको मेंटेन रखने के लिए शत पुष्पादिया तेल यूज करते हैं बाकी डिकॉक्शन से नहीं किया है और करना भी करते नहीं है एक्चुअली यस मैम थैंक यू मैम यस ओके देर इज अ नो क्वेश्चन नाउ थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम फॉर द वंडरफुल सेशन यू हैव एक्सप्लेन द प्री मेच्योर मेनोपोज फ्रॉम द मॉडर्न एंड आयुर्वेदा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन डिटेल Yes. on behalf of neema obgy society central and neema obgy society maharashtra body i would like to express my gratitude to neema central president dr ashutosh kulkarni sir and secretary dr us pandey sir for the remarkable support i extend my gratitude to our neema obgy central president dr kamini diman madam secretary dr priyanka nakade madam treasurer dr vishnu bavne sir and convener dr rajesh uthane for supporting and guiding us to conduct today's webinar i would also like to thank and extend my gratitude to our eminent speaker dr mansi modi madam who took time from the busy schedule and delivered very knowledgeable and wonderful session i would further like to extend my gratitude to our neema obgy maharashtra president dr suhas halkar sir secretary dr manoj gaikwad sir treasurer dr ayajrat bal sir for all their support to conduct today's webinar i would also like to thank dr girish daga sir and dr arshna pandey ma'am for the all the help and technical support last but not to least i would like to thanks from bottom of of my heart to all the delegates for their participation and presence without them this webinar would not be have been possible and succeeded Now, with the due permission of all the dignitaries, I am co- uh, concluding today's webinar. Thank you all for the attending, and hope you have learned and gained great knowledge from today's speaker. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you very much, Mansi Ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Mansi Ma'am. Thank you so much for such wonderful session. It was really very knowledgeable. Thank you for for sharing your clinical experience and your treatment protocols. Also, it was real treat to hear you. Thank you so much, ma'am. You are welcome always. Yes.